everybody, JT Dangerous here once again. I am back for my New Japan Pro Wrestling Sakura Genesis 2018 predictions. Now, Sakura Genesis happens this Sunday morning, live on NewJapanWorld.com from the famous Sumo Hall in Ryogoku. Now, at last year's Sakura Genesis, we got to see Katsuyori Shibata face off against Kazuchika Okada for the IWGP Heavyweight title. Now, this year's card is... Beyond stack coming from me. We got nine huge matchups with four IWGP titles on the line. So I'm very excited to do these predictions and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record coming into Sakura Genesis after our last New Japan Pro Wrestling pay per view, which happened this past Sunday at Strong Style Evolve in Long Beach, we went seven and two. So our overall record coming in is 129, 67 and one. So we are definitely cooking with some gas. We haven't had a losing record since January. Our last last losing record was Wrestle Kingdom, and we have been on fire. Now, Strong Style Evolved this past Sunday was amazing. If you did not catch it, not catch up with it, definitely go watch it before before seeing this show. We had an amazing tag team main event with the Young Bucks against the Golden Lovers. An amazing United States title matchup between Jay White and Hangman Page. So all around, Strong Style Evolve was a great show for New Japan this past Sunday. And they will be back in the United States in July at the Cow Palace in San Francisco. So uh, that's going to be a big time show as well. Now, we're, uh, now, hopefully in this video we will continue the winning ways. We're on a five pay-per-view winning streak. Hopefully in this video... We're going to make it six. Now, before I begin, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching all the videos in the month of March. This is the final video I'm putting up this month. And I want to say thank you guys so very much for all the support and the success in the month of March on the channel. So, again, thank you guys. Thank you guys for showing your love on all of my videos. My Strong Style Evolve predictions, over 100 views. My tournament predictions, over 200 views. Again, even though my record bust, my bracket busted, you guys showed your love on that video and representing your picks and your teams. My New Japan Cup predictions, my WWE predictions, my Ring of Honor predictions. Again, thank you guys so very much for a great month in March. Now we're going into the month of April when I got so many big time predictions I'm going to be doing in the month of April. Here's a little bit of a here's a little bit of the stuff I'm going to be doing. My WrestleMania predictions, my first round predictions of this this year's Stanley Cup playoffs. My first round predictions of the NBA playoffs. So hopefully what you guys did in March will continue into a huge month on the channel in the month of April. Now we are at 290 plus subscribers now on the channel. So I do want to thank you guys so very much for supporting the channel. To new subscribers, thank you guys so very much for super kicking that subscribe button. And welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. It is great to have you guys here. Now to my longtime subscribers, thank you guys for sticking around, supporting the channel, and as always, killing it. Now, this is your first time watching my channel as a first time viewer. And this is your first video. Boy, you picked a good one if you're a huge New Japan Pro Wrestling fan or a wrestling fan in general, like myself. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I am JT Dangerous Lee and welcome to the club because this club is two. Whoop, whoop. Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these uh, Sakura Genesis cards. Now, let's start off with the first matchup. It is a six-man tag team matchup with a lot of momentum at stake. Starting off on one side, you have coming from me the number one contender for the IWGP Never Openweight Championship, and he has been on fire this month, uh, this year in, in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He is heart and soul, Juice Robinson. Next, he is the... Uh, he is challenging for the IWGP United States Championship in Corrigan Hall during the Road to Wrestling Dotaku, who is the fourth generation David Finley. And the final member of this team is the former seven-time IWGP heavyweight champion, the former Intercontinental champion. He is the once-in-a-generation superstar. He is the ace of New Japan Pro Wrestling. He is Hiroshi Tanahashi. And their opponents, they are representing chaos. First, he is the headhunter. He is Yoshihashi or Tacos. Next, he is the current reigning IWGP Never Openweight Champion, the modern-day warrior Hiroki Goto. And finally, he is the current reigning IWGP United States Champion. He is Switchblade, Jay White. Now, this matchup has a lot at stake for the next couple pay-per-views that's coming up for New Japan. Juice Robinson, starting off with the team of Juice, Tanahashi, and Finley. Juice has a tag team victory over the Never Openweight Champion, Hiroki Goto. So, and he got a big time win at Strong Style Evolve with Go uh, uh, with uh, against Gato and Hiroki Goto. So Juice has definitely been on fire. He had a great New Japan Cup this year, and he's looking to win his first singles title in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And then you have David Finley, who challenged the IWGP United States Champion 
after his matchup with Hangman Adam Page as Strong Style Evolved, so he'll have his chance to win his first singles title at Corrigan Hall during the Road to Wrestling Dotaku, which is the next big uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling pay-per-view. Then you have Tanahashi. What else can you say? The the iron will of Tanahashi. He had a he came back after a two-month absence, got all the way to the finals of the New Japan Cup, and he is looking to just continue to have this amazing run back from injury. Then on the other side, you have the Chaos team of Goto, Switchblade, and Yoshihashi. Goto looking to end Juice's momentum and looking to um, looking to show that he is the never open weight champion and he ain't going to back down. Then you have Switchblade Jay White, who is coming off an amazing United States title defense against a Hangman Adam Page. It was a great matchup. And he's looking to pay back David Finley for attacking him after the match and then challenging him. Then you have Yoshiyashi, who is just looking for his first win in 2018. So coming from me in this first six-man tag team matchup, this one's tough. Again, I love Goto. I love Switchblade Jay White, just the most consistent, uh, consistent uh, wrestler on the in the company. But coming from me, I think there's the momentum has to continue with the the challenging the challenging duo of Tanahashi, Juice, and Finley. So coming from me, I am taking. Hiroshi Tanahashi, Ta Tanahashi, excuse me, Juice Robinson and David Finley to defeat Hiroki Goto, Switchblade Jay White, and Yoshihashi. And now the next matchup, a tag team battle featuring on one side, they are the they are representing Chaos, and they are the former IWGP heavyweight tag team champions, the Stone Pitbull, Tomohiro Ishii, and the Sublime Master Thief, Toriyanu, and their opponents. They are representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, consisting of the Master of the Iron Claw, Takahashi Izuka, and hopefully with his woman, Miho Abe, he is the he is Taichi. Now Starting off with the Chaos team of Ishii and Yano, they're looking to keep pace with the heavyweight tag team division. They're looking to get a big win here with Ishii being the Stone Pitbull and the Sublime Master Chief, and they're looking to get back to the to glory and win and winning once again the IWGP heavyweight tag team titles. Then on the other side, you have Iizuka and Taichi. Again, when it comes to Suzuki Gun, they're going to start off early. They're going to throw him into the crowd, destroy him uh, before they get into the ring. You know Iazuka is going to have that iron claw, the metal claw he usually comes out with, and he's usually crazy. And then you have Tai Chi, who um, is looking to um, looking to get a huge win in the heavyweight division. So coming from me in this huge tag team matchup between Chaos and Suzuki Gun, this one's tough. Again, this one's a really tough pick. I'm going to go with the team of Ishii and Yano to defeat Iazuka and Tai Chi. And now the next matchup. It is a Bullet Club tag team matchup featuring on one side. They are representing. Just too sweet, baby. Whoop, whoop. Consisting of the man who is... He is the master of the five five count. He is Chase Owens and his tag team partner, hopefully with Muffinaz. He is the Tokyo Pimp Yujiro Takahashi. And their opponents also representing Just Too Sweet. So nice. Gotta do it twice. They are the former IW seven-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They are former Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, and they had a, and they are and if you know and and you know it ain't no party with these two with, and it, it ain't no party like a party with of course Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Now starting off with Chase Owens and Udrow, they have been tag team a couple times. Chase Owens is. Always on the case to package pile drive Kazuchika Okada during the New Japan Cup. He didn't have a chance to do it, but as you know, Chase is on the case. Then you have Yujiro. Hopefully, he brings his he brings his girls, which I I'm always down with Yujiro when he brings even uh, any girl because he is the Tokyo pimp. Then on the other side, you have the Young Bucks who are coming off that emotional 
matchup with the Golden Lovers as Strong Style Evolve coming from me. The match of the year in 2018 when it comes to tag team or in general. Matt Jackson's back is definitely going to be the story because Matt Jackson's back has been just aching him since I think January. So, uh, but they have they're looking to get a huge win in the heavyweight tag team division. So coming from me in this Bullet Club tag team matchup, this one's tough. Again, I um, this one's a tough one because it's Bullet Club versus Bullet Club, and and it's and it's somewhat team. Team Omega versus Team Cody in the per, in this perspective. So coming from me, I am taking the Young Bucks to defeat Chase Owens and Yujiro Takahashi. And now the next matchup. It is for the IWGP Never Openweight Six Man Tag Team Championship. Starting off with the challengers. They are all they are representing Toguchi Japan, consisting of first, he is the coach of Chikupi. Taguchi Japan, excuse me, and he is the funky weapon Ryusuke Taguchi. Next, he is the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion and a former Ring of Honor World Champion. He is unbreakable, Michael Logan or Big Mike. And the final member of this team is the former IWGP Heavyweight Champion. He is the Unchained Gorilla, Makabe Togi. And this team is challenging the reigning and defending IWGP Never Openweight Six Man Tag Team Champions. They are representing once again. Just too sweet, baby. Whoop, whoop. Consisting of the Bunda Boss, Bad Luck Fale, and Tama Tonga and Tongaloa, the Gorillas of Destiny, or God. And they are the Bullet Club OGs. Now, Starting off with the, the Taguchi Japan team, Taguchi looking to win another, uh, looking to win, uh, looking to win another never open weight six man tag team championship. You have Michael Logan who has been kind of been dormant since uh, since the New Japan Cup, and Makabe who challenged Suzuki for the IWGP Intercontinental Title. Then on the other side, you have the Bullet Club OGs, Fale and the Grills of Destiny. Knowing them, they uh, when it comes to Team Kenny and Team Cody, they're all about Team Tonga. And coming from me, Tama Tonga should be the leader of Bullet Club as of right now because he has been a light. He has been a leader. He has been there since day one when Finn Balor was the leader. So coming from me in this IWGP Never Openweight Six Man Tag Team Championship matchup, <sighs> this one's tough again. Um, I don't see any three-man team beating the Bullet Club OGs. I mean, you got the Underboss and the Gorillas of Destiny. Not an easy task to beat them. So coming from me, I am taking the Gorillas of Destiny and the Underboss, Bad Luck Fale, to retain their IWGP Never Open Weight Six-Man Tag Team Championships and defeat Taguchi, Big Mike, and Toge Makabe. And now the next matchup, a huge six-man tag team matchup featuring on one side, they are representing Los Ingobernables de Japón. First, they are the reigning IWGP heavyweight tag team champions. He is Cold Skull Sonata and making his return after an orbitable injury that happened early this year. And I've been waiting to do this as soon as I saw his name. He is King of Darkness Evil because this is evil. Everything is evil. Subadewa. Everything. All of it is. Evil-da. And their tag team partner is coming from me, the number one contender for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. Ooh, Naito! He is Tetsuya Naito and their opponents, they are representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, and uh, first, they are the 
Number one contenders for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, they are Davey Boy Smith Jr. and the American Psycho Lance Archer, the Killer Elite Squad. And their, par and their partner is the leader of Suzuki Gun, and he is the reigning IWGP Intercontinental Champion. He is one of my favorites. He is the sadist Minoru Suzuki. Now, starting off with Los Ingobernables de Alpone. Uh, it's good to see Evil back. I've been waiting to do that. This is Evil for a while, ever since he injured his orbital bone uh, uh, in Australia uh, for New Japan. So I'm happy to see Evil back. Uh, Sonata, that now they can actually defend their tag team titles very soon against the Killer Elite Squad. Then you have Naito, the ever tranquilo, looking to maybe become the next Intercontinental Champion. Then on the other side, you have the KES and Minoru Suzuki. The Killer Elite Squad have been on fire, and they're looking to regain the belts that they lost at Wrestle Kingdom this year over Evil and Sonata. So they're looking to get back the, the gold. Then you have Minoru Suzuki, who is looking to just maim and absolutely destroy Tetsuya Naito for disrespecting him because you do not disrespect the king himself, Minoru Suzuki. So coming from me in this Amazing six-man tag team matchup. This one's gonna be wild, and I cannot wait. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got Evil and Sonata and the Killer Elite Squad looking to clash for the tag team titles, and then you have the ever tranquilo Naito against Minoru Suzuki. So coming from me in this matchup, I am taking Los Ingobernables de Japón of Naito, King of Darkness, Evil, and Cold Skull Sonata to defeat the Killer Elite Squad and Minoru Suzuki. And now the next matchup, a huge tag team matchup with a lot at stake at Supercard of Honor. Starting off with first, they are representing once again... Just too sweet, baby. Whoop, whoop. Starting off with first, he will be taking on Kota Ibushi at Supercard of Honor, and he had an amazing IWGP United States title shot at Strong Style Evolve. He is the problem solver of Bullet Club. He is Hangman Adam Page, and his tag team partner is looking to, and he is the self-proclaimed leader of Bullet Club, and he is looking to uh, finish off the former leader of Bullet Club, Kenny Omega, at, in Bullet Club Civil War in the main event of Supercard of Honor. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. Get them on the feet. Crowd is here about to blow. He is the American Nightmare Spot Picker Cody and their opponents. First, he is the master of the Kamegoi and the Phoenix Splash. He is. E Colden Star, Ibushi Kota, and his tag team partner is the true leader of Bullet Club, and he is the best damn wrestler on the planet today. And if you know his music, and I know you guys do, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh. He is the cleaner, Kenny Omega. Now, this match, like I said, has a lot at stake for Supercard of Honor. Starting off with Paige and Cody. Paige will take on Kota Ibushi at Supercard of Honor. And... Page had an amazing United States Championship opportunity at Strong Style Evolve. Nearly took the IWGP US title. And coming from me, that matchup was amazing. But he will be a singles champion very soon. Trust me on that. Then you have the American spot picker Cody who had a big time win over the Grills of Destiny at Strong Style Evolve. And he's looking to eradicate Kenny Omega in Bullet Club Civil War at Supercard of Honor next Saturday for Ring of Honor. Now... Again, Cody has said all the time, Bullet Club is fine, Bullet Club is mine, but let's just be honest. Cody is a follower, not a leader, and he is just a manipulator. The master manipulator, if you, if you ask me. And he is nowhere near 
making Bullet Club any better. He is making it worse. Coming from me, I'd rather have Tomatonga be the leader of Bullet Club other than Cody. And hopefully Tomatonga will kick out Cody and then he will be the true leader of Bullet Club. Then on the other side, you have the Golden Lovers who are coming off that amazing, amazing tag team matchup with the Young Bucks at Strong Style Evolve, getting a huge win. Ibushi, uh, Ibushi and Omega have been gelling since they re uh, they reunited in uh, in January. They looked more crisp in that matchup. They didn't make any little mistakes. It was an amazing tag team matchup. If you have not checked it out, definitely go check it out. So coming from me in this huge tag team matchup with a lot at stake for Super Card of Honor, <sighs> this one's tough. This one's tough because again, I like Hangman Page after what he uh, after a great showing against Jay White, but I just cannot stand that a little spot picking Drake, Draco Malfoy looking ass Cody. So coming from me in this matchup, you already know I'm Team Kenny and I'm taking the Golden Lovers to defeat Hangman Page and the American spot picking Cody. And now the next matchup. It is for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship and it's a rivalry renewed. Starting off with first, the challenger. He is representing once again. Just too sweet, baby. Whoop, whoop. He is the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he's also look, and he is also the number one contender for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <sighs> whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Mata Scrawl, and he is challenging the 80th and the reigning and defending IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. He is representing Chaos. He is the Aerial Assassin. He is the Sky King. He is Will Osprey. Now, this is a rivalry that has been spanning throughout throughout the wrestling world. Scrawl Osprey. Now, this whole thing started. Um, this whole thing started with uh, uh, at Strong Style Evolve after Will Ospreay defeated Jushin Thunder Liger and then outright challenged Rey Mysterio Jr. to a matchup in which Marty Scroll came out, hit uh, hit Will Ospreay with his umbrella, and took off Rey Mysterio's mask and held up the Junior Heavyweight title. Now, these two have met before. They met at Power Struggle in November in which Marty Scroll won his first IWGP Junior Heavyweight title, and then they met... Well, one more time at Wrestle Kingdom in a fatal four-way match in which Osprey regained the gold and he's been the champion ever since. Now, starting off with Marty Scroll, this could be a huge week for Scroll. He could be the junior heavyweight champion and he can also be the Ring of Honor World Champion champion when he challenges Dalton Castle for the, that title as Super Card of Honor. So this could be a huge week for the villain Marty Scroll. And this, and, and and he's looking to do what he usually does: beat Will Osprey. Then on the other side, you have Will Ospreay again, coming from me, the greatest, the most great, the greatest, uh, greatest, um, what's the word? He is the greatest um, uh, uh, athletically gifted superstar coming from me in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He has been a fantastic junior heavyweight champion, and with the new, uh, with the best of the super juniors coming up, there's a lot of people that I can see winning this year for uh, the challenge Will Ospreay at Dominion in June. So coming from me in this huge matchup for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, ah, man, oh man, this one's this one's going to be a good one. Can can Will Ospreay beat Marty Scroll one on one? History has shown he hasn't done it yet. He hasn't done it. He won that Fatal Four Way matchup, but it was not a one on one matchup with Marty. And could Marty Scroll start a huge wave of a wave of momentum going into his Ring of Honor title matchup? So coming from me, as much as much as I love Marty Scroll, I am going to go with the aerial assassin Will Ospreay to retain his IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship and defeat the villain Marty Scroll. 
And now the next matchup. It is a triple threat match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Starting off with the challengers. First, they are representing Los Ingobernables de Japón. They are both former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions and they're looking to become the next Junior Tag Team Champions. They are one of my all-time favorites. Ticking Time Bomb, Hiromu Takahashi and the Master of the Bushiruni, MX. Bushi next. They are representing Chaos, and they are looking. And they are the former two-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They are accompanied by Rocky Romero. They are Show Yo Rapungi 3K, and they are challenging the 57th and reigning and defending IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They are representing Suzuki Gun. Ichiban, consisting of El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Now, this is a rematch of a triple threat match that happened at the 46th anniversary show in which the, the winner of the, uh, uh, where the finish happened at the last minute with Bushi spraying, uh, I think it was Sho with the black mask and Desperado and Kanemaru taking advantage and winning the belts. Now, uh, LIJ and Suzuki Gun have gone back and forth during the New Japan Cup Tour. They wanting a single tag team matchup, looking to have some fun with Kanemaru and Desperado, in which Rapungi 3K numerous times attacked both teams and saying we want a shot at these titles, and thus they they announced that it would be another triple threat match. Now. Um, I was lucky enough to pick Suzuki Gun to win that first triple threat match at the 46th anniversary show. That was a very lucky pick, but I was happy to get it right. Now, starting off with Los Ingobernables, their opponent, Bushi and Time Bomb. I think they're the favorites to win. I wouldn't be surprised because they, they've they done it all. I mean, they're both junior heavyweight champions, and they're looking to be the next junior tag team title of champions. Then you have a Rapungi 3K. They're looking to regain the gold that they they say they got stolen from. They're looking to become three-time junior tag team champions, and they're looking to regain the gold for chaos. Then you have the champions, Desperado and Kanemaru again. A lot of people did not pick them to win that matchup. I think I was the only one to actually pick them to win. But they've had a pretty good run. I mean, they have... Uh, it, they have they, Suzuki Gun now has the IC and the junior tag team title, so they're looking to... Keep the gold in Suzuki Gun. So coming from me in this triple threat matchup for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Titles, ah, this one's tough. Again, I was right the first. I was right at the first triple threat match. Could I be right a second time? So ah, this one's tough. This one's a really tough one. Some these triple threat matches are always the toughest to predict. So coming from me, I am taking Los Ingobernables de Alpon, Time Bomb, and Her uh, and Bushi to become the next and the new IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions and defeat Rapungi 3K and Suzuki Gun. En serio, ma g de. And now the main event for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Starting off with the challenger. He is the 2018 New Japan Cup winner. He is representing Suzuki Gun Ichiban. And he is accompanied by his hype man, Taka Michinoku. And as Taka would say, he is Submission Master. He is ZSJ. He is coming from me. The British the, he is the British submission machine. He is Zack Sabre Jr. And ZSJ is challenging the 65th and the longest reigning IWGP heavyweight champion, accompanied by his playmaker, Gato. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. Okada. Now, this is a really interesting heavyweight title matchup. Now, starting off with Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr. came into, came back to New Japan Pro Wrestling in the New Japan Cup, and he has been on a roll since uh, since entering his first New Japan Cup. He listen to the names he tapped out in that tournament. 
He tapped out Tetsuya Naito, a former heavyweight champion. He tapped out Kota Ibushi, a former junior heavyweight champion. He tapped out the, uh, the one half of the current tag team champion, Sonata. And in the finals, he tapped out the seven-time IWGP heavyweight champion, Hiroshi Tanahashi, to get this opportunity. Now, here's a couple dangerous facts with Zack Sabre Jr.'s win. First, he is the first British wrestler to win the New Japan Cup in their in that New Japan Cup's history. Number two, he is the first Gaijin non-Japanese wrestler to win the Cup in 12 years. And number three, he is the first Brit to challenge the he is the only the second British wrestler to challenge for the IWGP title. And the last person to do it was Lord Steven Regal in 1995. And he is looking to become only the second man to ever tap out Kazuchika, uh, the Okada, uh, tap out Okada, the last person to do it, Shinsuke Nakamura in 2015, so Zack Sabre Jr. has been tapping out everybody, his latest victim happened at Strong Style Evolve, tapping out Tomohiro Ishii, now, this whole, this has been the biggest moment, I've never seen a wrestler get this much momentum into a title matchup, like they're doing with Zack Sabre Jr., I mean, a guy who doesn't have a huge, like, he doesn't have a monster move. Other than, uh, he doesn't have like a monster move. He has submission moves. And most of his submissions are out of this world. They're insane. That's why I like, to call, I like calling him the British submission machine. Because he puts you in so many of the most uncomfortable submission moves. You just have to just tap out. And, and Zack Sabre Jr. is looking to hold now. Looking to hold three belts around his waist. Then on the other side, you have Kazuchika Okada, who is looking to make history. Now, here's a dangerous fact. With, if, if Kazuchika Okada uh, successfully defends his title, he would have 11, 11 successful title defenses in one reign. He is looking to pass Hiroshi Tanahashi with 12. So, he is looking to, to continue his amazing run as the IWGP champion in his, only his fourth title reign. Now... This matchup is definitely does not work in Okada's favor because if you wrestle with Zack Saber Jr., you're gonna get submitted. You have to keep Saber, you have to keep Zack Saber Jr. on his feet. And if you have an injury, he's gonna work on it until you have to tap out. So coming from me in this matchup for the IWGP Heavyweight Title, uh, Heavyweight Championship. This one's tough. Again, like I said, I said Okada would lose this belt this year. My bold prediction of 2018, he will lose this belt this year. Do I see Zack Sabre Jr. winning this matchup? No, because again, I love Zack Sabre Jr., but he's not the man I think will beat Okada for this belt. I still think it's either going to be Naito or Kenny Omega. So coming from me in this matchup, I am taking Rainmaker. Kazuchika Okada to retain his IWGP Heavyweight Championship and defeat Zack Sabre Jr. And those are my Sakura Genesis 2018 predictions. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy these predictions today. Comment below, who do you have winning all these matchups? Who do you have between Marty Scroll and Will Ospreay? Who do you have in that Triple Threat Jr. Tag Team matchup? And who do you have winning this matchup between Zack Sabre Jr. and Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada? I would love to see your comments, uh, your opinions down below. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to me. These comments are absolutely Always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for so watching this video today. Now, before you go, you can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share, which friends, of course, super kick. That like button like only you guys can. Of course, you can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance. I will see you guys in the month of April for my NXT TakeOver New Orleans predictions, my Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor 11 2018 predictions, and my official WrestleMania 34 2018 predictions. Later days, and peace!